Hey everyone, it's Leah. It's been a while since I last updated you to work, but in this video, I'll be sharing about rural scenery and some daily life experiences. During Chinese New Year back in my hometown, I know it's been a few months. If you're interested, keep watching, and hopefully, my video will give you a glimpse into Chinese culture and life. Remember my last video about the Chinese New Year flower market? This time, we visited another flower market, but this one was in the evening, and it was equally fun. There were all sorts of knickknacks, a self-service cotton candy machine that kids love, even a Tesla Cybertruck, and even a robot dance performance. It was my girlfriend's first time seeing live robotic dancing, and she even thought the performer was a real robot. All right, after talking about a bustling night at the flower market, let's move on to the part about celebrating the Chinese New Year back in my hometown. On New Year's Eve, I went with my mom to buy some chicken. You might find it hard to imagine scenes of freshly slaughtered chickens and ducks at the market. Then we went to buy seafood. This is the local market. It might not be as shiny and clean as the supermarket, but it's got character. When it comes to variety, this market beats supermarket. For me personally, I love shopping here because I find shopping here way more fun than the supermarket. Okay, here. This is my mom, and at this busy morning of Chinese New Year's Eve, well. She has to wait for her shopping. By the way, if you want to get a deeper understanding of local life, the market is one of the best ways. The, they vary from province to province, even from county to county. I didn't capture much footage due to time constraints. In Guangdong province, chicken is indispensable during festivals. There's a saying among Chinese people, no chicken can work out of Guangdong alive. That's how important chicken is. And there, is, there are various ways to prepare it according to Guangdong's traditions. What my mom is making now is white cut chicken. At our home, right after preparing the New Year's Eve feast, is promptly offered to our ancestors and deities. My mom did some decorations with the chicken, like placing a slice of pork pancreas on his back. In Chinese culture, it symbolizes good health and wealth, so it's common during Chinese New Year for Guangdong people. These are the classic spirit money that people burn for their ancestors, so they can spend it in the afterlife. The dominations of these paper bills are usually exaggerated, probably causing inflation in the afterlife. This is the cash for the gods. Oh, uh, as you can see, it is as much as it looks like <laughs> Chinese Yuan, but it isn't. And the number of the value can be really exaggerating. Take this for example, it's 8 million per paper. <laughs> and my mom just told me it's a, it's a Yuan Bao. Uh, I just forgot the translation for the word. I put it in the subtitle. 
，一旦封锁，唔出入平安，健康发财，保佑子孙，健康发财，百千万啊！嗯、This is the red candle. You can see the words uh printage on it on the surface. It just says you'll be you stay safe whenever you go out or back home. It's all about auspiciousness. Yep. Oh. Ah, my mom told me this are uh, specifically for the Chinese New Year's Eve. It says uh, we are a family happy together in this New Year. Yeah, it can loosely translate it like that. Finally, my mom makes a toast to our ancestors. Let me take you on a tour of the little garden my mom set up on the rooftop. She doesn't grow many dazzling flowers, but focuses more on practical plants like spring onions, chives, romaine lettuce, basil and mint. The New Year's Eve dinner officially begins. For practical reasons, my mom doesn't arrange the dishes, so the plates are piled full. There's a bit too much dark soy sauce, so the color looks dim, but the taste is not bad. New Year's Eve is very lively, with many people setting off fireworks. On the first day of the new year, relatives invited us over to their house for a meal. They live in a village, and the scenery there is beautiful. Oh, it's such a good weather, and it's warm. Look at this beautiful scenery, and there are a lot of people there. Yeah. This mountain view is well known throughout the village, attracting many visitors during the new year. Let me take you to the rooftop of my relative's house to see the scenery. The new year is a time for children too. My nephew loves playing with these kinds of small firecrackers. By the way, I think it's quite dangerous. I can't stop them from having fun, so I just keep a close eye on them to prevent accidents. To better enjoy the mountain view, after lunch we went hiking. Well, this is as high as we can climb. Look at those fields down there. What do you think of the view? After coming down from the mountain, we lingered in the fields for a while. Next, I will take you around the village where my grandma lives.
<laughs> Look at this. This is the free range chicken. Uh, before they come to the table, they would have a great time living. <laughs> so usually their meat is much delicious than uh, the other kind. And you can see is eating eating some leftover. I don't know. And yeah, because of that, that that's even make them make their meat even more richer and taste more good. Tastes better. Look at the fields behind me. Isn't it good? It's just a normal village, of course. Yeah, I think it's so nice. It's even got a backyard here. Oh, I think it's front yard. It's still a nice warm weather. It's nice and warm. It's sunny and warm. And <laughs> what are you doing? I'm recording a video. Ah! 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 <laughs> I'm Leah, and if you are interested in Chinese culture and daily life feel free to subscribe. Now I'm ending this video with a lion dance performance on the on the first day after the New Year holiday at the office building. Bye bye!